Hi friends! Welcome to Sid G's Adventures. Let's learn about ocean invertebrates that are a type of ocean animals. A for anemone. Anemones are like the colorful flowers of the sea. They're stationary creatures that sway with the ocean's rhythm. Some clownfish call anemones home and are protected by their stinging tentacles. B for barnacle. Barnacles are tiny crustaceans that look like little volcanoes stuck to rocks and ships. Barnacles have the longest penises in the animal kingdom compared to their body size. C for clam. Clams are like living shells with two halves, and they're experts at burrowing into the sand. They filter tiny food particles from the water, helping to keep the ocean clean, dot paired to their body size. C for coral. Corals are colorful colonies of tiny animals that build reefs in warm seas. Coral reefs are known as the rainforests of the sea due to their incredible biodiversity. C for crab. Crabs are like the beach detectives with their sideways walk and tough shells. They shed their exoskeletons as they grow, revealing a new, larger one. J for jellyfish. Jellyfish are like floating umbrellas with their gelatinous bodies and trailing tentacles. Some jellyfish can glow in the dark, lighting up the ocean at night. L for lobster. Lobsters are the ocean's rock stars with their strong claws and vibrant colors. They can regenerate lost limbs, which is handy in a pinch. O for octopus. Octopuses are the shapeshifters of the sea with soft, boneless bodies and incredible intelligence. They can blend into their surroundings by changing colors and textures. S for sea cucumber. Sea cucumbers are like squishy pickles that crawl along the ocean floor. They can expel their internal organs as a defense mechanism and later regenerate them. S for sea urchin. Sea urchins are spiky balls of the sea covered in sharp spines. They use their tube feet to move and graze on algae. S for seashell. Seashells are like nature's treasures, beautiful and unique, and often found along the shore. Some shells are made by the animal that lived inside, like snails or clams. S for sponge. Sponges are like the cleaning crew of the sea, filter feeding on tiny particles. They can be as simple as single cells or as complex as branching structures. S for starfish. Starfish are like the ocean stars, with their iconic five arms and vibrant colors. They can regenerate lost arms, making them masters of regrowth. T for tunicate. Tunicates are like colorful blobs that live attached to rocks or other surfaces. They can squirt water to move and filter food particles. W for worm. Worms come in many forms in the ocean, from the slimy to the bristle covered. Some worms build tubes from sand or secrete mucus for protection. S for sea slug. Sea slugs are like the fashionistas of the ocean, with their vibrant colors and intricate patterns. Some sea slugs can steal stinging cells from their prey and use them for defense. H for hermit crab. Hermit crabs are like nomadic beachcombers, using empty shells as mobile homes. They can't make their own shells and must find new ones as they grow. S for shrimp. Shrimp are small crustaceans with long antennae and a curled body, often found in schools on the seafloor. Some species of shrimp can produce light, creating bioluminescent displays. O for oyster. Oysters are bivalve mollusks that form clusters in the seabed with shells that can vary in shape and size. 
Oysters are filter feeders, helping to improve water quality by consuming algae and plankton. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.